When the market opens in little under an hour, we'll buy the stock and hold it for 48 hours. And you're completely certain the report is genuine? Came from the minister himself. And when that report goes public, the stock will go through the roof. And we'll all become very rich. Which is, after all, why we're here. I'm in. Me too. Gabriel? Simon, have the courier pick up these cases, take them directly to the brokers. Gentlemen, I'm sure it's not too early for a bottle of champagne to celebrate, is it? Never. <laughs> Susan, would you do the honors? Actually, not for me. Not allowed to drink on duty, you see. Duty. Detective Inspector Alan Richards. On your nicked. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Recorded evidence, photographs, forged government paperwork, a statement from a serving police officer, false identity is not looking good, is it? Shouldn't that be switched on? What is it now? 2010? You should be out in 2025. Of course, you might not all be so lucky. 15 years is a long time. Albert Stroller is an old man. And such a free spirit it would be a shame if he were to die in prison. He had nothing to do with this. Oops. All right, it's me you want. Yes, it is. Then let the others go free and I will sign a statement saying anything you want. I'm afraid it's not quite as simple as that. Then I have nothing else to say to you. Sit down. Do this. Oh, I think you'll find we can do anything we want. It really doesn't have to be like this. Who are you? Hello, Michael. Are you a grifter? I'm a detective chief inspector. Let's call it one nil. Yes, let's. I'm sorry I can't be with you. Your face must be a picture. I take it you've met Jenny by now. She's a very old and very dear friend. She came to visit me last month and we shared a bottle of wine. Your ears must have been on fire. Anyhow, she told me she had a little problem. 
And I said you'd be perfect. So have fun. Oh, I think this makes it one all. What kind of problem? This is the National Bank of Syria in the city. In its basement, it has two vaults, one of which has 300 safety deposit boxes. And within one of these security boxes, there is something we'd very much like to get our hands on. In the second vault, we believe there is something in the region of 40 million pounds. You bring us the contents of that one safety deposit box. You get to keep anything else you can carry from the other vault. All right. Who are you? Special branch? Oh, nothing so vulgar. The point is, Mr. Stone, you either help us solve our problem or you and your friends go to prison. And you can't do this yourselves. Relations because... between London and Damascus are a little tense. Should anything go wrong, any link found to the government would be disastrous. However, we can't be held accountable for the actions of a criminal gang working independently. We'll let you out on bail, then drop the charges once the job's done. So what's it to be? I need time. I need time to think, to... Uh... But in the meanwhile, let's go through the motions. Ash, bank. Find out everything you can about the place. Uh, security, alarm systems, personnel, everything. Albert, use every contact you've got and find out who she and this joker work for. Let's see who we're up against. You got it. Emma, work from the list of personnel you get from Ash. Find me a weakness, a, a way in, something we can use. Okay. Ash is anxious still about. Uh, yeah, he's got a basement flat in Camden. Sean, go and see him. Ash will give you the address. Explain to him what we're doing and he'll kit you out with an identity to get you into the bank. Make an appointment there to open an account tomorrow. Everyone set? Then let's try and stay out of jail. Who is it? You anxious? Depends who it is. It's Sean. Mickey Bricks and Ash Morgan sent me. Wait. How are you? Nice I'm fine. Please sit down. You're looking very well. That's the kind of Can I get you a drink, sir? Well, let's see. It's five o'clock in Mumbai. Out of the Scotch on the rocks, all right? Say three socks, then, yeah. That's all right. Then you're sure it was him? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure. Well, it was definitely him, mate. What can I do for you? I need an identity. What for? Bank job. What bank? The National Bank of Syria. Very exotic. Right. Sit in that chair. You better do something Middle Eastern. We might have to turn up a bit. Do I need to count it? It's all there. Not count it anyway. How's it going? Just one click away from meeting my new best friend. you've got time for a social call. Shouldn't you be out marshalling your troops, buying balaclavas? It's all in hand. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? We take a walk. Before I do this, I need to know that you'll be true to your word, that you'll drop the charges against us. 
I just want to know if you're playing this straight or not. You want to discuss the rules? How civilized? These are people I care about. I need to know that if I ask them to do this, it's for a good reason. What do you want from me? I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that if I do this, it's over. Why should I? Because then I'll get you what you want. And if it's a fair game, that's how I'll play it. Is that a threat? No, it's a statement of fact. All right. You have my word. If you do what we've asked, that'll be an end to it. And my friends, they'll be free to go. Yes. Satisfied? Yes, I am. I'm sure you've got a lot of work to do. Good luck. He won't want to come out in the open, so he'll do a steal. And after we have what we need, we'll rearrest them. For the bogus stocks, Con. For stealing the 40 million pounds in the second vault. That'll double their sentences. OK. The National Bank of Syria. It's got a basement with a vault for safety deposit boxes. A great place for ex-Syrian nationals to hide their ill-gotten gains. Security? Well, it's where I'm going if I win the lottery. Uh, thermal imaging CCTV with face recognition, pressure pad set at 20 grams, a laser network that can detect a fly crossing the room. The walls are reinforced with titanium, and a whole vault has a wireless network that instantly shuts down steel grills in every room in the bank when compromised. So even if you manage to get in, the chance of getting out again are pretty slim. Is there any good news? Yes, there is, yeah. It's protected overnight by a private Syrian security firm with tasers, dogs and a bad attitude. They had an attempted robbery about four years ago. By the time the police got there, the Syrian security had beaten them after death. And that's good news how? Well, if we get caught, there might not be enough left of us to lock up. The bank has an underground car park now. That's our best route in. We can access a service shaft from street level, pop out of a hatch the other end. There are cameras everywhere, but I think I can get us through the service entrance. What about the second vault, the one with the cash? Well, it's right next to the security boxes. Once we're there, the second vault is simple enough. One central code lock with six digits. It's just like the lottery. Six digits and you hit the jackpot. <laughs> we're going to be millionaires. And back to the first vault, the, uh, the security boxes themselves. What are the locks like? Well. Bearing in mind there's little or no chance of getting anywhere near them in the first place, the locks are pretty standard. Do we even know what's in the box we're supposed to steal? No. There is one weak spot. Most security systems have some kind of override on the time lock in case of an emergency. I mean, you can't wait till 8 o'clock in the morning if you're in the middle of an earthquake. How does that help us? Well, one of the triggers is a power surge designed to cope with electrical storms. If we could create a surge at the grid, it would cut out the alarm circuit for seven minutes, which is the time it takes the computer to run a check on the system. Can we do both volts in seven minutes? Don't worry. Leave that to me. And this surge, it'll shut down everything. Well, everything but the pressure pads, which are run off a smaller system. Oh, and a three-foot thick steel door and uh, four combination locks, apart from that, it's a piece of piss. Seven minutes is not a long time. Well, that's all we got. OK. Emma. I've got a new friend called Asher Olmet, who also happens to be a safety deposit clerk at the bank. And he's invited all his online friends to his birthday party tonight. Oh. You won't have much time with him. He's 19, never had a girlfriend, as far as I can tell. Blimey, must have trouble walking. Yeah, thanks, Ash. I'm hoping it'll be love at first sight. <coughs> Cradle snatcher. Wait, he looks <coughs> really sweet. What are you going to do if he doesn't go for uh, older women? Well, there's no danger of that, is there? I mean, if he's never had a girlfriend, any port in a storm and all that. Oh, sorry, no offence, Em. Can we just stop this conversation, please? <laughs> OK, OK. Albert. Well, I'm afraid the worst news is yet to come. Oh? Jennifer Hughes is ex-military. She works with Nigel Chambers, ex-army. So who do they work for? They were both recruited by military intelligence three years ago. Oh. Bollocks. They're MI6. I mean, what does it matter anyway who they work for? It doesn't change anything. They're MI6. They've got free reign to do what they like. It's not like the old Bill who have to play by the rules. These guys don't. It's your call, mate. Well, 
Well, considering who these people are, there's no way we can back out now. Well, if that's how it is, let's go rob a bank. Well, how do I look? Bit muttony. Muttony? Take no notice, you look great. I couldn't agree more. You make sure you help him with his own work. Oh, whatever, Tango boy. Don't wait up. That's it. I'm done. Good. I'll make yourself useful and put the kettle on. What are you making anyway? Well, I'm building an electromagnetic thingamajig with a remote control watch. Right. Good luck with that. A few things to pick up in the morning, but yeah, we're good to go. Oh, I'm exhausted. How was it? Well, it started out okay and then descended into who could drink the most lager and pull their trousers down the quickest. Sounds like a good night out. Yeah, for you, maybe. How uh, was Asher? Oh, he was lovely. Did you make a man of him? No, I did not. He was a perfect gentleman. More importantly, did you get what we needed? Yes. Luckily, he's very proud of his work. The boxes have high tensile, sure, secure barrel locks. Two members of security staff accompany every box opening with a third watching on CCTV. What about the numbers? Sequential. Box one is top left-hand corner, left-hand side of the room, then runs left to right and down. And you got all that without putting out? <sighs> They're taught the sequence so they look more professional when they take a client in. OK. So all we have to do is get Sean to do his bit tomorrow, and we're set. Not quite. <laughs> End. to take out the box. Mr. Alkani, right? Yes. Do you have any identification? Of course. So, uh, um, what size box do you need? Our smallest is three inches by five, and our largest is 10 by 25. I'll take the largest. Okay. Yeah. I'm a superstitious man. Oh, uh, I have my lucky numbers. Two, five. Ah, very good. Thank you. Well, uh, let's see. Um, we have two, five, two, 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 five, 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 two. Two, 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 two. five. Be perfect. Then it is yours. Hmm. Please, uh, come this way.
this in. Oh, well done, Sean. Well done. See you in a minute. It's in. Good boy. How's that? Three minutes. That's all right, yeah? No, 90 seconds is all right. Three minutes gets us locked up. And again. I think you're doing fine. Mm. What about you? Uh, racking my brains, trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. Sure you haven't. I hope so. Stakes are pretty high. Oh, I don't know about that. Prison's not what it used to be, you know. Now you get your own cell, colour TV, computer games, gym. It's Albert I worry about. Oh, he'd cope. You know Albert, he'd be running the place inside a month. True. Fifteen years. Everything I know, everything I am, is, is, is because of him. If this thing doesn't work out well, it won't be your fault. Won't it? You know, if we get through this, somehow, I think I need to take a break. <laughs> yeah, south of France or something. Monaco. That's as good a place as any. I've always wanted to play the casino at Monte Carlo. <laughs> I hear the, um, the Chateau Verde has lovely views of the harbour. The Chateau Verde? Mm. Oh. Sounds lovely. Might see you there, then. Hello? You never call. You don't write. I've been busy. I'm glad to hear it. Lucy sends her regards. What can I do you for? I thought you might like to talk me through your plans. And why would I want to do that? Because I'm asking you to. My hotel, six o'clock. Don't be late. Still need to knock off another 30 seconds. How good am I? Everything OK, then? Yeah, box 225. You get that call, Mick? Right on cue. The, uh, mics in the base. OK, good. You did good, Sean. I was awesome. <laughs> Modest, too. I'll go see if I can get us some insurance. Ash, you should run through the bank plans again. Oh, good, cos it's only been, what, an hour since last time? Practice makes perfect. Right. Gather round. I'll call when I can be more specific regarding timings. Good night, sir. Mickey. You shouldn't have. Consider them a peace offering. Lucy told me you might be tricky. Were you trying to incriminate me? Last roll of the dice. Something like that. <laughs> I'll call you when we're done. So, you're all set. We go tonight. Excellent. You must really be enjoying this. Well, I have to admit, I am rather. The glasses are on the table. So, you found a way in? We think so. I need you to call me the moment you're out. I want the contents of the box as soon as possible. OK. Aren't you joining me? Clear head.
Any idea how long it'll take? The box should be simple enough. Moving the cash may take some time. You'll be a very rich man after this. Maybe you should consider retiring. And do what? I don't know. Have fun. Do you do fun? Only in the right company. Oh, dear. You really dislike me, don't you? So MI6 set me up to rob a bank on their behalf and I'm supposed to like it? Whatever it takes to get the job done. You live by that as much as I do. Maybe. So climb down off your high horse and at least admit a sneaking admiration. All right. Let's just say I appreciate the thoroughness. It's a start. It's a shame we're on different sides. We'd make quite a good team. Oh, I doubt that. Why? Because I tend to do my dirty work myself, rather than manipulating others to do it for me. Ouch. Does it bother you very much, being beaten by a woman? I imagine it does. Well, that very much depends on the woman. Lucy was right about you being a charmer. You know she wanted to screw you. We don't always get what we want. True. Although she'd be mad as hell if I did what she couldn't. And you could tell her all about it over another bottle of wine. Sorry. Did she give you no time? It's in her nature. Are we set? Yeah, it's whatever be. OK, give me five minutes. They've just left. Good. And they're dropping the goods off here when they're done. And afterwards? The police will pick them up at their penthouse suite. Great. And what now? Now, we wait. service entrance. There are three cameras. Here, here, and here. Ready? Go.
Oh, good evening. My car is broken down. I was wondering if it was possible you could help me. You come in. Thank you. So beautiful. <clears throat> Wish I had a more reliable vehicle. I always wanted to visit the Cotswolds. Wolds, it's Cotswolds. Wolds. <laughs> Did the AA say how long they were going to mm. be? And in 30 minutes, they said yes. I don't suppose that you have a biscuit. Chocolate digestive. Perfect. This is it. Monitors are playing up. Better load it. Pressure pad systems. We're on. Seven minutes starting now. Bingo. Right, pressure pad start three feet in.
They should have called by now. Relax. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, a couple of enemies. Diamonds? Looks like MI6 are a bunch of tea leaves. <laughs> now, why doesn't that surprise me? Well, at least we've seen the last of that dreadful woman. Not quite yet. Let's hope we haven't bitten off more than we can chew. minutes then they've done it it would appear so bloody brilliant it's nigel chambers operation ghost can commence when ready You guys should head back. I'll deal with this. I'll come, come with you. It's best if we're not all in the same place at the same time. If all goes according to plan, I should be there in half an hour. And if it doesn't? I called anxious and had false passports made. There's also some cash and your flight details inside. You get to the airport. Get out while you can. What about you? I'll take my chances. You can't go up there by yourself. He isn't. Ash. You can argue all you like. I'm coming with you. Take care of Albert. You were expecting us? Well done, Mickey. And so quick? I'm impressed. Ash? Wait, Nigel? Things are a little tight at the moment, but stealing diamonds? They belong to a known terrorist. He told us about them during questioning. So Her Majesty's government thought it best we acquire them to help fund the war on terror. Rather poignant, don't you think? Oh, please. Spare me the disapproving looks. I assume you did quite well for yourselves in the process. We came out of it pretty well. Yeah, 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 mustn't grumble. Good. Well, then you must use it to take a holiday. Gentlemen. We got company. Mm -hmm. Let's not make this any more difficult than it is. Resisting arrest would be futile. Hello? I see. No, there must have been some breakdown in communication somewhere. Let me get back to you. I take it that was the police. Now, let me guess. They got all the way to the bank, only to find... No sign of a robbery. <laughs> Oh, 
from. We sort of tied it up as we went along. But the money... Oh, Jack, I knew I'd forgotten something. Ash. Sorry. 40 million quid. Porsche, motor, yacht, my own jet. Caribbean beach apartment. Gold diggers. Diamonds. I don't know if you've noticed, but the money's still behind a bleeding door. Which is exactly where it's staying. Come on, we have to get out of here. All untouched. Security system untouched. No sign that anyone was even there. We even locked the door behind us. Yeah, I had this funny feeling that I might get a visit from the police. Yeah, even you can't get us arrested for a robbery that never happened. Wait outside. It seems I've underestimated you. I thought the draw of all that money would be too much. We are not thieves. Surely you're forgetting something. Oh? You haven't forgotten anything, have you, mate? I don't think so. We still have all the evidence from your last escapade. <gasps> your mm. bogus stock. You know, I knew she was going to say that. That's the thing about people in authority. They are so predictable. Yeah, especially birds. You know, I think it's penis envy. That's a very interesting theory. Very droll. Thank you. Nigel, why don't you call your friend at the police station? Tell me we have some people here who have violated the terms of their bail. See, she's at it again. The predictability. It, it, it's a definite character flaw. You're going to prison. Not for as long as I'd hoped, perhaps, but... you're going. I very much doubt that. <laughs> Do you know who we are? Why have you forgotten? DCI Rawlings, please. Nigel Chambers. S sorry. Excuse me. There's something you might want to see before he does that. What is it? The case for the defence. I really do think you should take a look at it. Can you hold? I'll call you back. Had a girl. Aren't you joining me? Clear head. It gets better. I checked him. The microphone was a decoy, you idiot. He knew you'd find it. Were you trying to incriminate me? Last roll of the dice. Something like that. So you found a way in? We think so. I need you to call me the moment you're out. I want the contents of the box as soon as possible. Aren't you joining me? Clear head. Any idea how long it will take? Your box should be simple enough, but moving the cash may take some time. You'll be a very rich man after this. Maybe you should consider retiring. Oh, the judge will like that bit. Not to mention the press. And do what? I don't know. Have fun. Do you do fun? You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say she was flirting with you. Only in the right company. Oh, dear. You really dislike me, don't you? Oh, no. This is my favourite bit. So MI6 set me up to rob a bank on their behalf and I'm supposed to like it. Whatever it takes to get the job done, you live by that as much as I do. Back it, isn't it? Lucy was right about you being a charmer. You know she wanted to screw you. Oh, turn it hang off! On, hang on, you'll miss the best bit. Well, we don't always get what we want. True. Although she'd be mad as hell if I did what she couldn't. And you could tell her all about it over another bottle of wine. You stupid bitch. Oh, here we go. Can we send out for a pizza? You are a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> I was enjoying that. They don't look very happy. No. Nah. No, nah, do you think we upset them? Maybe we should just, uh... Yeah, yeah, good idea. I'm assuming you'll be dropping the charges. Yeah, thought you might. Wait, if you already had this, why go ahead with the robbery? Well, that part's easy. You see, there were six bags, not five. Call it a payment for services rendered. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, you know, whether that's the only copy. It ain't. 
In fact, there's hundreds of them. They're everywhere. Do give my regards to Her Majesty. Yes! We thought... It's OK, Mickey played a blinder. Yeah? Yeah, in fact, I'd say he gave her a piece of his mind. So, we're home free? Yes, we are. Well done. Yeah, nice one, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you'll be going to Monaco, then? What do you reckon, Mick? About what? Oh, Albert reckons we should take a break. Go at Vegas. Yeah, I thought it might be smart for us to keep our heads down for a while. Not that Albert needs an excuse, mate. <laughs> what do you think? It's a great idea. Yes. Sorry. Never mind. Maybe this will help soften the blow. Oh. You know, I could murder a drink. Might just catch Eddie before he turns in. I cannot believe you did that. I could always give them back. Don't it... even joke about it. She's definitely going to drop the charges on the bogus stocksing. Oh. Why? I was sure she was going to double-cross us. Well, um, who knows the way a woman's mind works? <clears throat> Oi, landlord, you got customers. Ah, oh, Eddie's bar. Now I know it's all over. <sighs> Everything's back to normal. Oh, look, it's Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> It's the middle of the bleeding night. Yeah, well, I've had better welcomes. A uh, glass of bubbly, please, eh? 24 hour licensing laws weren't just brought in for you lot, you know. Glasses. All you cared about was yourself. Oh, stop your moaning and get your ass round here. We've got a job for you. You treat this place like a flaming hotel. <clears throat> and do you know what? I'm the mug for putting up with it. Do me a favour, Ed. Hold that. What for? Press the red button. Hello. Hi. Hi. DCI Lucy Britford. Thank you so much for your message, by the way. We thought it'd be rude if we didn't reciprocate. Yeah, yeah, and if you've got any more mates that, uh, that want to come and play, just say the word. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, and I'm sorry, very sorry, but it looks like it's 2 nil after all. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. I'd like to propose a toast to Lucy Bitchface. Oh. Lucy, 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 Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when that happens? Mm. <laughs>